Wasn't that a fantastic run? Incredible. But, Absolutely uh, incredible. Well, you've got three of the... You know, you've got Josh Ross, Daniel Batman, Adam Miller, Ambrose Zenwa. You've got, the, you've got the Commonwealth Games relay team in there. Right, if Patrick Johnson had been there, you could not get a better quality field. And as we look at it there on the screen, Ross is off scratch. Batman Ambrose is off Zenwa. two. Miller is off two. What a great race that'll be, right, just in that little section. Ambrose Zenwa is off two and a quarter metres. Daniel Burgess, who ran very well in his semi-final yep. ran very and deserves his place here, is off three and three quarters. And John Adams, way out on seven metres um, in the pink. So he's going to be uh, probably he was probably be a bit disappointed with his run in the in the semis, and uh, be a great opportunity for him to run in this quality of field. Josh Ross clearly would have been aiming to get through, but do you think in the back of his mind that he probably might have thought that he faced an uphill battle, given that he's had a bit of a niggling hamstring? He probably hasn't been going as well as in previous years. He he might have known the writing was on the wall. Well, I think that uh, you know he pulled out obviously in the from the relay run in in Melbourne. And it takes a bit of psychologically and physically on, on hamstrings, but um, um, off scratch. What a great this is a, this is an amazing field that they've lined up. Extraordinary. Here. Couldn't really get a better one. So Ross out of red, Batman white, Miller blue, a Zenwa yellow, Burgess in green, Adams in pink. Ross off scratch, Batman off two, Miller off two. A Zenwa 2.25 has won it four well, times. Off. Burgess in green, 3.75. Adams will give them something to Get chase on, on seven metres. Be a lot of bragging rights going on in this after this. Absolutely. Not only for money, not only for the trophy, but for the bragging rights as well between now. the top guns. No, not yet. Now. Up, you can't. Batman, Miller, Azenwa all got pretty good starts. Ross got a good start. Adams making them chase. Burgess coming after him. Now the white starting to come through. Batman, it's going to be anyone's race here. A blanket finish, but the pink Adams is going to make the most of his mark and win in 12.26. So John Adams takes out the back markers and upsets the big names, but that's what you've got to do. When you get a good mark, make the most of it. Well, I think John Adams will be thinking about an opportunity lost because, um, you know, he's run, he's run time. What a uh, run time in this back markers. He's used his mark of seven. Daniel Burgess has run very, very well for a um, of three and three quarters. And here come the back markers, and they're struggling to get there. Billy Miller's starting to move forward past the Zenwa and just grab third spot there. But John Adams, an opportunity lost, I think, for that in for that fellow in the um, in the gift finals, but. Uh, He's won well, used his handicap, and a great run. Josh Ross couldn't quite get onto them. Well, let's find out if John Adams does regard it as a lost opportunity. Here he is with Ian Cohen. Thanks very much, Peter. John, uh, you take home $4,000 for the Backmarkers Invitational, but uh, the main prize has eluded you this year. Yeah, that's life, mate. I knew I'd been running OK, and I came up here, ran my best like I normally do, and just wasn't good enough, so... Happy to be given the opportunity to run in the back markers and get up and win it. Any consolation to knocking off some of the green and gold Australian heroes? Um, yeah, but I've got to be realistic. They're giving me up to seven metres head start. They're all quality athletes. And um, I was just lucky enough to be on a mark that was good enough to beat them. John Adams, the winner of the uh, back markers Invitational. Terrific effort there by John Adams, upsetting the big names in the back markers. We're going to take a break now. When we come back, it'll be turn for the women to strut their stuff in the women.